good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets end of day's trading session on Thursday, the fifth of the Thursday, the sixth of April, two thousand and seventeen. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and decipher as to uh, uh, how the uh, markets perform today. Let's look at the actual stats for the day. European session, FTSE down twenty eight points. It was actually higher at one time. It certainly did uh, retrace off that pivot low. Uh, the German DAX finished 13 points high. The French CAC 30 points. The FTSE mid buybacks and stock 600 all finishing higher. Okay, so in terms of uh, the economic data, in terms of today, we had Chinese cakes in weaker, factory orders slightly weaker from Germany. Uh, again, Mr. Priya and Mr. Draghi, the combo uh, lifting uh, European equities high on the back of dovish commentary. And then obviously Mr. Weedwin trying to neutralize that German German banking association certainly neutralizing that as well in terms of FTSE we had WPP certainly uh, exerting pressure on the downside Nikkei down obviously 1.3 percent overnight US tapering concerns in the Feb FOMC minutes stating that US equities are certainly overbought again exerting further uh, bearish price action Fed Williams overnight as well uh, hawkish Le Pen concerns given the poll Okay, Theresa May, uh, Theresa May launching a campaign. Again, the uncertainty regarding that politics going forward. Okay, and now the latest news is that Russians are basically going to be waiting another six months before they actually even decide on what they uh, intend to do with regards to uh, the OPEC cuts. So, again, all, all those, uh, all that economic data together, really, and given the fact that U.S. markets have failed to rally and retrace, certainly seems like by the. Uh, dip mode certainly has uh, come to an end okay now where do we stand okay so where do we go next let's bring up the uh, german dax let's see exactly where we stand okay the weekly chart i've stated already provided we remain above or below sorry a double top uh, but provided we hold that's resistance at 12380 12390 bias remains firmly bearish daily chart at the moment we've retested previous resistance equal support higher highs and higher lows are in play Okay, but we have the gap on uh, unfilled gap at 12,000, and that certainly remains a target in the foreseeable future. 60 minute chart clearly showing you low lows, low highs. You're into that Fib 61, 75% resistance. Now, if we do continue higher, then you are looking at 12 to 90 resistance, and therefore you are looking for this market to or well, German DAX certainly to fall. We have Z, Mr. Z, uh, certainly in, um, in uh, has arrived in uh, the US now. Okay, so it'll be interesting to see how the Chinese visit uh, goes with regards to Mr. Trump, okay, and how uh, investors perceive that. So again, keep an eye on that. Okay, folks, now you do have resistance at FIB 61%. Like I said, you have gap filled below at 12,000 German DAX, and that's exactly what I'll be targeting on the downside. My bias is, is now currently bearish. The French CAC certainly rallied off that pivot low at uh, 5,050, obviously moving at as high as 5125 going into the close so very very impressive there french cac certainly holding its ground 60 minute chart you are into diagonal trend line resistance and therefore looking for risk aversion you're still in this bullish channel at present but it certainly seems like to me we are going to break it on the downside especially given the uh, obviously uh, french election uh, very very close now in terms of the FTSE 100 we basically did a normal retrace the daily chart remains bearish with the hns formation you did put in a bottoming tail, so it has respected that support of 7260, 7250. Weekly chart, you are looking at a rising contracting wedge breaking to the downside, so therefore it certainly indicates weakness. 60 minute chart really is just an inside bar. We did hit a bit of a high of 7323, which was quite impressive. Okay, so I am looking for a reversal here and a move lower, folks. Okay, 10 minute chart on the FTSE again, it's FIB 61%, previous support equals resistance, classical TA. You still have the unfilled gap at 7330, though, so just bear that in mind. But given the uh, the ongoing concerns, although you, you have uh, had a rally, an impressive rally in oil today, if you bring up the chart of oil, certainly looking for resistance and uh, risk aversion kicking in here as well. Let me just bring up the chart of oil. Uh, you've got copper as well into a resistance on the daily chart. Bring up a two hour chart. You can see copper certainly holding that key resistance at $2.7. So impressive, impressive. Uh, oil let's quickly show you oil oil you're into 200 ma that doji from yesterday certainly has held and the 60 minute chart clearly shows you a double top so therefore looking for risk aversion okay uh understood okay so FTSE certainly weak in my eyes okay french cat weak in my eyes duck weak in my eyes uh the euro stock certainly impressive thrust from 3445 up to 3490 very very impressive 
led by the French CAC as well. 60 minute chart, obviously helped by uh, a Draghi's dovish talk. Again, you are into horizontal resistance now, and therefore you are looking for a move lower. So bias remains bearish from my understanding and my interpretation. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European equities, really. Uh, you're looking for weakness. Uh, again, Mr. Z's visit will be important and we'll see how the markets react. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.